The NFL is heading into week five, and we have a whole new set of power rankings for y'all. The Texans and Falcons swap the first and second spots, but the two teams remain interchangeable in my book. Houston finds themselves at number one, thanks to a handful of blowout victories, while Atlanta slips one spot after being contested by Carolina at home. The Bears are proving to be a solid football team and absolutely embarrassed Tony Romo and the Cowboys on Monday Night Football, and now find themselves up three spots to number five. Meanwhile, the undefeated Cardinals, yes, undefeated Cardinals are on their heels at number six. Let's move through the top 10. The Eagles keep climbing up the ranks. Now number seven, Packers slip two spots as they prepare to face the Colts in week five, and the Patriots manage to score 52 points, but still fall to number nine. Biggest jump of the week, those crazy Minnesota Vikings. Up eight spots to number 11. The biggest fall, New York Giants down nine spots number 14 after a lackluster performance against Philly. The Bills are, God, they're at 19, but I have no idea why. And the Lions are at number 20 not dropping in the rankings despite losing three straight and being in the basement of the NFC North. Can someone please tell me what's going on in Detroit? Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, getting into the bottom third, we don't see a lot of movement, though the Rams jump six spots number 22 with a chance to hand Arizona its first loss on Thursday night football. Titans are at number 25. Chris Johnson fantasy owners, super happy. Appreciate the 141 yards rushing, but you forgot to help your real team win, Chris. Let's see. Panthers, eh. Dolphins, eh. Saints, oh. Saints, they're 0-4, the 28th ranked team in the NFL. And at this point, I'm wondering, should they actually be lower, at least below the Chiefs, who have just one win and overtime victory against the New Orleans Saints. Finally, some things do in fact stay the same this week, namely, Cleveland Browns, the only winless team in the AFC after losing to the Ravens. That's it for the power rankings. Let us know what you think. Should the Saints be lower? Can the Texans and Falcons stay on top all year long? Will the Vikings actually win the NFC North? Keep watching SB Nation and our 32 NFL blogs for more as we roll into week cinco.